Hi, Mr. Devlin here. See what you've done? You've turned me into a snowflake. Give came. You've challenged what I've said about NWA and Insurgency Sandstorm. The release on the console. I'm butthurt. I'm upset. But you know what? I'm going to answer the excuses. The excuses from NWA. The excuses from people like Dara Death. The excuses from Father Hank. And more importantly... The excuses for the people that are still supporting and sticking up for NWI. And this is the opportunity for you lot out there who are still supporting this company that promised a console release that didn't happen. It might happen, apparently, yes it might. But this is the opportunity for you lot to give the console community out there the answers. And yes, I know there's still people out there that are going to support them, stick up for them. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you exactly what has happened since the first iteration of this game when they said they were going to release it on console. So here we go. Let's start. Please tell me if I'm wrong. Okay, let's go back to February the 23rd of 2016 yes i said 2016 announcing insurgency sandstorm here we go paris france today our new publishing partner focus home interactive has revealed an exciting new project we are developing that project is insurgency sandstorm and may i quote is available for the ps4 the xbox one windows OS X and Linux, Linux, however you want to pronounce it, in 2017. And you know, I've been quoted with giving misinformation. And you know what? I probably have because I always said 2018. I think I was being kind to NWI, but it goes back to the announcement in 2016. So misinformation, me saying 2018, you're probably right. Or you could say I was just being kind. So... A part of their marketing, even way back then, was stating that this game would be out in 2017. We know that wasn't the case because it actually released in 2018. But they were advertising in 2016, in fact, the beginning of 2016, that this game was going to come out on the PS4 and the Xbox One, not next generation consoles so there is a start of the misinformation they have been given as part of their marketing campaign you know what to show and gain interest in a title they were bringing out and for me and this is my own personal opinion they knew at that point that that game wasn't coming out in 2017 on the Xbox One and the PS4. It didn't even come out on the PC. So how did they think it was going to come out on the console as well? So there we go. Number one. It was, as a part of their marketing campaign and their blog announcements, because I'm getting this information from their own website, was back in 2016. Sold to kill two birds with one stone... Forget about what they're saying about new console, new generation of console. It's absolute bullshit. It's just another simping excuse. They never even thought that they would get this game out. And for them to now to turn around and say, well, uh, we're going to wait till the next generation of consoles is a massive cop-out. And it's disrespectful to the people who have been waiting for this game. And it's disgusting that they actually put it out on the Xbox for pre-order because they obviously knew it was, wasn't coming out because the new generation, the next generation of consoles have been on the radar for well over 12 months and we all know that. So if that was the case, they should have said at the time, look, this, this game is not going to come out for the PS4 or the Xbox One. It's only going to come out for the next generation console. So now... You tell me why I was giving misinformation. And I've been doing this and I've been trying to call out NWI well over 12 months ago. Please, if you don't believe me, go back and check.
And just to finish this part off, please remember, it was announced in 2016 for release in 2017. The PC game came out in 2018. They said it was going to be released for the PS4 and the Xbox at that time. It didn't happen. They said in 2019 on multiple occasions, soon, 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 the console release will be soon. It didn't happen. They said it was going to be spring 2020. I said late on in 2019 that this is not going to happen. It didn't happen. 2020 will stick on. They said it's going to be out in August the 25th. I said many a time, I don't think this is going to be happening. I think it'll be lucky if this happened. It didn't happen. People get on my back. People slag me off. People have a go at me. It didn't happen. I was right. And so were a lot of the other console community. At the recent PAX event, they shown you controller gameplay. People out there, some people out there, thought that was console gameplay. It wasn't. It was controller gameplay on a PC. So people out there have been asking, can we see some gameplay? Can we see how the development of the game is going on console? And you know what they got? Nothing. Zilch, zero. Radio silence, nothing. Are they supposed to be able to see gameplay? Well, yes. 99.9% .9 of developers out there will show where they're up to, regardless if it doesn't come out like that, regardless if it's the same, you know, rendering or the same sort of quality of what they show, at least they show something. They don't go completely radio silence. The only people, for me, it's just in my own personal opinion, see what I'm doing here, NWI, Dara, Death, Father, fucking Ted, whatever your name is. I know exactly what I'm doing. This is my opinion. I think they knew this was never coming out on the 25th of August. So even when they say or try to insinuate that they were showing console gameplay at PAX, it wasn't. It was controller gameplay on a PC. You know, if people order a product, regardless if it's a game, a car, a bag of crisps, and they pre-order the game, they would like to know about the process of said game. Which brings me on to the fact that I was, um, I was left a message or a comment on one of my previous videos by NWI saying this video is full of misinformation because people were not charged for the pre-order. I hate to tell you, and I'm sure people will come on this video, yes, there was people charged for this game and they had to go through Xbox support to actually get their refunds because they've had enough of you. There might be people out there who never got charged, but there was people out there who got charged. There's even one who left me a message just recently, said his game has gone out of his library and he's not got his money back. So NWI, if that's the case, see what I did there again? If that's the case, you need to go and sort that out. So there were actually people charged for that pre-order. So saying I give misinformation is again bullshit from NWI. Another thing that I need to talk about, people out there saying they're just a small indie developer and, you know, give them a chance. They've had a chance. They've had enough time. If they didn't have the capabilities to put this out on a console and they were just using this as a marketing ploy, well, that's wrong. And they should never have said it. They should never, ever have said that this game is coming out on the console. Never mind Linux, Linux. This was never going to come out at the time that they stated to the console. So your argument that they're a small indie, a small indie developer just doesn't wash with me. And another thing that doesn't wash is the fact that they are now saying, and their simp boys and fanboys out there are saying, what would you rather prefer, a buggy mess or a perfectly finished game? absolute shite they have had enough time if the time that they have had they were developing this game right back from 2016 
probably more if they were actually already developing it, um, is absolute rubbish. They have had enough time to get the console release out there. Or can I be so brazen as say that this game was only recently within the last 12 months in development for the console? I believe you might have had a go at trying to get the game going on the console, but serious development of this game, NWI, why don't you tell us? Was it recent or was it way back in 2016? And again, these are my own personal opinions. You know why NWI died a death? Because I can. I can have my own opinions. And do you know what? If I want to give my opinions out, I can give them out. And you know what? The people out there who say, show us the proof, show us this, show us that, I've just shown you, I've just explained what it is. Do I have more than I am saying on my videos? Yes, I have a lot more. And you know what? When these people, just for argument's sake, not working at NWI or Focus Interactive anymore, people out there might just get a little bit more. And just to finish off, I know this is a long video for me and I don't get monetized before anyone says, you know, it's over 10 minutes, that's why you've done it, you want to get monetized. I don't get monetized, I'm not even bothered about putting ads on my videos, but you know what? The people out there who are saying this is uh, an attack on a female gamer, shut the fuck up by the way. It's nothing to do with that, it's about a community manager that cannot do her job. Just because she's a woman makes no difference. She, for me, and a lot of the console community out there, and believe it or not, the PC community out there, she does a useless job. God forbid she gets any other job in NWI. Can you see that wink on my face? It's actually not an attack on anyone, not even on NWI. It's me stating facts. It's in black and white. It's actually on their own website. And their actions have shown that uh, what I've been saying is the truth. So NWI, it's time for you to address the console players. This won't go away just because it's off the Xbox Storm because you've delayed the console release. It's not going to go away. It is time you addressed the console players. And if you don't, it shouldn't be too long that I will. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell icon and tick it so you get notifications of when we're uploading new videos. And this is Mr. Devlin. Out.